on the way now to the gym and I'm gonna take you through what my workout would look like on a Friday. Let's go. Not bad, not bad. So I'm kicking it off with some bench press and dumbbells. One second pause at the bottom on each rep. The most important thing to do when bench pressing is to make sure your shoulders are retracted because that will give you a strong platform to press from. And then you want to keep your arms on like a 45 degree angle. If you have them tucked into your body, like I see some people do, then you're working more of your tricep. But if you have them out on a 45, then it'll target your chest more. And then we're doing three sets of cable flies. I don't actually do high to low cable flies very often, so Gian actually taught me some technique. One thing that, that the nerve will be that makes a massive difference. Yeah. You want to point your wrist up actually. And you want your, um, yeah, and you want your palms, yeah. Uh, and, but you want chest up, chest up, palms to come, touch. You can, it's a massive difference. That's it, there you go. There you go. Keep the chest up. You can even bring your feet forward. Yep. Now put your shoulders back. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, that's way better. Next we have three sets of low to high cable flies. Make sure to keep your shoulders back and Really focus on getting a good stretch in your chest. Just focus on contracting that muscle, you know, really tensing it, flexing it. Do whatever you can to just feel your chest. If I had to pick a favorite chest exercise, it would probably be this one. You know, out of 10, I don't think, you know, only out of 10 is a fair rating. It would have to be like 100, you know. That's how good this one is. Just got the energy. So sugar is actually something that powerlifters do throughout workouts, but um, I'm doing it just because. The next exercise that we're doing is tricep pushdowns. Just make sure to have your shoulder blades back. I think I ended up doing like fucking five or six sets of these just because I don't really feel like doing anything else and I just love tricep pushdowns so much. And then we just finished on some calves. Now the trick to these is to actually do them really slowly. And there was a study that came out that showed that the bottom half of the calf raise was actually where majority of the gains were made. So it's really important to get into that lower depth of those calf raises.